Greetings, and welcome to a very Christmassy series of <sighs> Darkest Dungeon. It's it's Darkest Dungeon. I will admit it's not the most thematically appropriate uh, series for Christmas, and I have a freaking bone to pick with this game as well. And that, of course, being the Crimson Court DLC, uh, where we have to continue on and try and clear our damn party of everything that's wrong with them. So even though I was supposed to be pre-recording these, I'm actually recording them at the regular time, which is to say I do episodes kind of 12 hours before they are due to go live. Uh, slightly earlier, because it is Christmas Eve after all. Um, but it does mean that I've seen your comments from last episode. Many people very angry at me that I didn't move the crocodile around with the occultist. Okay, yeah, sure. The occultist was only there for healing, so I kind of neglected the fact that he could shuffle the crocodile around. But hey, I think we did... It wasn't okay, but it was fine in the courtyard yesterday. The invitations are obviously a little tricky to get, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but we will go back in there and uh, and do some damage, I think. I think I think that's my goal for today, is just get back in as soon as possible and start just pounding it and just, and just seeing what we can sort out here. So I would love to get... Do we even have a good healer for the courtyard at this point? Um... Ah, <laughs> no. Uh... Wow, that's a, a real... A real shitty situation. I guess I better wait for Ice Wolf to chill out then, huh? <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so uh, we can do veteran levels with level four, can't we? Is it a level above or a level below, ideally? Um, so what I'm thinking is then, why don't we take like some close to leveling up level threes? So Nero Nightshade, Crundle Back Base, <laughs> Crundle Back Brace, if I could even say it. Uh, like. Oh, to be fair, we could take Boris. Boris, I would love to level up because, of course, him being uh, a Bleed Lord Houndmaster would be quite nice. Joker King and then, like, Anastara, a squad with quite heavy bleed. Why don't we just take them into, like, the Warrens on a fairly easy mission? Um, not the Swine King. Well, I suppose we could do the Swine King, but I don't know how difficult that will be. Um, I was thinking just do something like this. Gather three grain sacks, a very easy mission. Give our other people a chance to chill out. Then, you know, it's a relatively straightforward Christmas video. I think that I think that'd be a, a nice stress-free, very easy one. We send these four out, get a lot of gold, you know, just kind of train them up a little bit, get them up to level four. Then tomorrow we can come out swinging back at the courtyard, because these guys obviously need some time off. And Ice Wolf is really only our good healer, so I think I'm all right doing that. Yeah, let me quickly get our people then equipped as as fast as we can with some trinkets. Now we don't really have a healer for this expedition, do we? Do we have anybody at all that would be appropriate for a healer? I mean, Grundle very kind of sort of but not really i mean hell i would even go back to the stagecoach and take like any sort of level one healer do we have anyone no we've got an adventure antiquarian oh that sucks um i guess we'll take the gamble then hey at least we've got the granary right which gives us a little bit more healing from food and it should be pretty easy medium veteran we get a camp you know how it is okay let's get these guys equipped then i want whatever gives I guess bonus to bleed. Um, especially for Anastara where bleed is really the only thing he's got going for him. That's a weird combo. I kind of like that. So higher to bleed skill. But that one... So he's got 5% bonus to bleed. But he's got 33% to healing. And to say we haven't got a healer. That might not be too bad. Ancestor scroll plus book of relaxation again for stress management. Um, how master. What are we going to do with you? Again I think just mass harass bleed is, is still the right guy move with this guy. We could put him in position 4 and then go for like... Sniper's ring. Strangely enough, I guess that kind of works. 15 accuracy minus 2 speed. So high accuracy and high bleed. But lower speed doesn't really matter that much, I wouldn't say. And then the antiquarian, I have fucking no idea what to do with you, pal. 50% healing skills. I suppose we use you as kind of a healer as well? Sure, fuck it. And then we'll go super high stress because we, we, we can manage that with... um. So in, in hindsight, our, our healing, I guess, isn't terrible, given that Anastara and the Antiquarian kind of fill that role. Someone was also telling me to try and use Finale a bit more, because that's apparently very, very good if you buff self massively and then go in for that. And I mean, he's in position too, so I might as well try and work out how this goes then. Um, what would we prefer, Harvest or Slice Off? 120% base. That's three points for three rounds. That's four points for three rounds. What's that, like an extra five damage? Um... No, three damage, fool. Uh, and it also gives Finale 30% extra damage too. So let's get rid of that and go for you then. Oh, I'll see if I can make this work. Why not? And have we got anything that you can't use from position two? Buff Ballad and Inspiring Tune. Bollocks, I suppose we could put the Antiquarian up. That won't matter too much, right? 
You can use that one in all positions, that one in all positions. Yeah, so she's good. Oh, then we can't use her healing power. Fuck. Um, how master in position two? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, how master in position two then? Bizarrely. And then everybody can do all of their attacks from the positions they're in. That's fine. Let's go for it. Right, give me, uh, give me some food. Let's take, um, two stacks. And then we'll just take four of each other thing, I guess. Uh, oops, no, no, no. Four of each other thing, fool. Mine kind of over-preparing for torches. Is anybody dying? No one's dying in town, so I'm not even going to bother with the blood. Sure. I mean, four more food, I guess, could come in handy. There's no reason not to take it. Let's do it. Here we go. A nice, a nice, easy, straightforward, stress-free kind of treasure run for for Christmas. Just to, just to get our guys a little bit of an easy level, I hope. Oh, God. Look at this map, though. Hey, a secret room straight away is quite nice. Gather three grain sacks. We've got Curio there, Curio there. And, and I believe somebody said that the rooms with the quest item in it, it will mark on the map as quest item. So I think, what do we go this way? Down here, down here, through that room battle. Alter well, we could flip all the way back up and go there, but I would rather go through this room battle. Uh, that way we can get the two secret rooms and the, sorry, the two Curios the secret room. There's only one battle along the way. Hopefully we'll get some more scouting along this direction. But then if we have to go back down here and go back, it doesn't really matter that much. All right, team. Onwards and upwards. Uh, let's head this way, then. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is, because people are still angry at me about not doing enough with the curios, I will go and look up the curios preemptively. Don't blame me if it does slow things down very, very slightly. You asked for it. Darkest dungeon. Where are we again? We're in the Warrens? I don't remember. Uh, pile of bones is holy water. That will give two loot. Uh, didn't bring any holy water. Move on. <laughs> well, thank God I looked that up. Hello, spiders. Right, this should be an easy one then. Let's see how this party works. We've got a lot of bleed going on here, so I'm expecting high 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 hopes, high things. Reign of Sorrows. Everybody's bleeding. This is fantastic. Uh you go for another stab on him. There we go. So what are you taking? Four damage there, three damage there, three damage there. A good Harry from the dog. Boom. And they all die. Great is the Holy shit, this is a nice party, huh? I mean, obviously they're the, some of the weakest enemies we could have possibly faced. But as a combo, that's quite nice. Holy shit. Thank you. Wow, look at all that other crap we got. Thank you, Antiquarian. Just what I didn't want. All right, first room. We've got a Hulking Swine Tour. Oh, is it Room Battle with a Curio? Oh, did I just read that as a Curio? I'm a fool. Doesn't really matter. Um, Okay, so Nervous Stab. Flash Powder doesn't stun. That just, yeah, de -stealths. I don't know why that doesn't stun. It would make a lot more sense if it did. Um, so Big Pig Man is 40% bleed resist, so I think we just kill him as fast as possible. Or alternatively, we could blight, I mean, what's the blight resist here? The same as bleed and higher on him, so there's not much point. Um, Nervous Stab does 3 to 5. I just feel like that would be, I mean, that's 6 damage. I suppose we could blight you and try and get rid of the stress lady sooner. But again, we've got kind of okay stress management, so I'm not too bothered. Alright, uh, you go slice off on Pigman. Tasty, tasty bacon for a lovely Christmas treat. And then 20% damage versus Beast. He is Beast. How did you miss? <laughs> you fucking shit dog. God damn shit dog. Three damage marked. Oh, oh, marked for three rounds. Sorry, look. It's late, okay? It's late. You know how it is. Trot retreats. That pushes him back. Now, that makes things a little bit harder, I guess. Well, no, because Slice Off hits position 3 to 4. He can hit every position, and he can hit every position too. Either bleed the front two with his flagellate attack, or the back two with the reign of whatever. Um, the question is, do I go for you first? It's going to take, like, many, many, many turns to wipe him out. So let's see if we can just bring you down. Four damage per round. So you're dead next turn anyway. Yeah, I think that was, I think that was the right move. What are you taking? Four damage per round. So we could go three damage per round for two rounds. So we could stack that up on you. Try and take you down a lot sooner. You're dead in two turns as well. If we go for a stab. So you're dead as dicks now. You're dead as dicks. And now we've just got to fight the pig man. Okay. Um, yeah, let's try that again. Hounds Rush. Seven damage with a bleed. That's actually really good, isn't it? Pig Spear. Oh, I am the one that is spit roasted now. Oh. Poor old... Who is at the front again? Anastara? Or Anastara taking the brunt of the spit roasting there. Okay. Kill. That dog is getting right on my nerves. 
Did I lower his accuracy at all? I thought... Oh, I gave him the bloody sniper's ring, didn't I? And now he's in position two. I think. That was a mistake. That was a bad trinket choice in hindsight. Just slap the shit out of the jester. <laughs> I'll have to check what uh, trinket he's got in a second just so that we can maybe reassess that because that could have been a bad idea. Um, do we want to try and heal two with a slight resist? I mean, it's not fantastic. Nine damage per round. Two more rounds he's gone anyway. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge. Uh, yeah, I gave him the sniper's ring. That was, that was poor. We got the accuracy stone, which I'll obviously swap that out for instead. Seeing as it gives us a bit more speed back and a bit more accuracy too. God damn, it's plus four versus plus 15 if we'd have kept position. God damn. And you are now thoroughly dead, Mr. Pig Gentleman. Goodbye. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just fortify you then for four healing. I, the four healing is okay. It's not terrible at all. Should have done a stress heal there. My bad. Right. Um, let's go for... Well, obviously get rid of you. I'm not, not interested at all. Get out. Uh... A bust. Why don't we eat this four food? One, two, three. God damn, that is a lot of healing, isn't it? And uh, let's take... No, no, no. Let's take that. Now, this pillar is, is, is a good thing, right? Hang on. Uh, bone also. I'm pretty sure you can just touch it for nice things. 100% buff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, who do I want to give the buff to? I, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's damage, accuracy, and crit until camp. So, I guess we'll just give it to... Give it to him and hope we crit with, like, the rain or something. Now, I'm going to give you the accuracy stone as well. Because I, I will admit, I fucked up there, okay? There's our secret door. Did we not already know that was there? You can't pretend that you found that again, sir. Right. No, thank you. No bugs today, sir. All right, so it's, like, here. Here we go. Antiquarium. Get that treasure. Here we go. Christmas. A Christmas gift for our party. Holy shit. Oh, man. I can't carry that. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well, let's get rid of those, then. Uh... The blood. I really should stop pile the blood. Um, 500 each. We'd have to stack five up to do better than that. Oh, fuck. What the hell am I going to throw away? The dog treats. There's no boss, so I guess I'm, I'm happy to throw that out and swap it for pure gold. Okay. That was, um, that was okay. I have really got the inventory room for shit like that, though, have we? I'd have preferred just one big expensive thing would have been would have been nice. The problem with the antiquarian, I, I really struggle with inventory management in this game, unsurprisingly. Scrolls are always good, aren't they? They give you, like, a, a good thing. Oh, or a journal page. Well, I've been bamboozled. Here we are. And what is that one? That's like some sort of eldritch altar. Eldritch altar. Yeah, yeah, there it is. If we put holy water on it, it purges a negative quirk. I don't think we have holy water. Do we? I don't think I bought any. Uh, nope. Well, we know it's here if we find some. We can, we can bring it back and get rid of a negative quirk. That seems too good to ignore. I'm going to flash powder you. Welcome. Debilitating drums. I really should use the jester, I guess, for a little bit of stress relief here. It's not. It's nothing to worry about quite yet, but we'll see how it goes. Right. Let's just harry the lot. Oh, that's not very good. At least we got a bleed on a couple where we hadn't. Right in the kidneys. He's fine. Which is cut. This is supposed to be a nice, easy Christmas run. You you pig lords are, are ruining my life. Right, go. Fucking dodge, really? Really? Okay. Uh, He's taken five damage around. He's got nine health. So if we slash you, you're dead. Realistically, I could have probably just done that with a dog in hindsight. We could have, we could have just ran it with a dog. Oh, yeah, maybe that would have been better to go for, like, the Swine Gora or the Swine Reaver, but that's okay. Hook where it hurts. Damn, it really do be like that. On the plus side, we can exsanguinate them now. Good work, dog. Oh, nice. Hey, there we are. Uh, Blight, 60%. It's not worth it. I would rather just go for a real crappy heal. Hey, there we go. <laughs> He's still below 40%, right? 826. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Eight hey, damage per round, so he's gone. So let's exsanguinate. Uh, what else we got here? Heal a friend. No, let's exsanguinate him. Good critical. Very nice. That's what we were after. Eight damage per round, so he's almost dead. The dog might do it. I might just get the dog to do a regular, you know, the, the targeted attack. Or we could just stab you with the antiquarian. Oh, come on. Really? Well, if we harry with the hound now, it might, it might just kill them both regardless. Okay, go. You have to hit, though. That'll do it. Done. Easy. Okay. Holy water? That's not fair. 
<laughs> There's no holy water there. Uh, yeah, I can't carry any of this stuff, sir. I guess we'll eat some food. I know, obviously, we're not going to eat our way through the stack, but... Um... We could take a gamble and I guess throw away like medicinal herbs, but I think I think let's there's way more important treasure from that. So let's just forget that for the time being. Right, so we can go that way where there is an obstacle. We can go back around that way anyway. So it really doesn't matter. We haven't seen any grains yet, and I suppose they they can spawn in the corridors, can't they? I'll have to bear that in mind. We might have to we might have to backtrack quite far because we've got what there's three of them on the map and we haven't found any yet. Seems quite unlucky. Hello, it's us again here to uh, bleed you all out. Constantly. Okay. Um, go for the smaller boys first. Slice you down. Uh, let's rush you. Oh, nice. What a hit. Okay. Uh, can the antiquarian finish you off somehow? Try and blight you with the festering vapors. 40. Come on. Damn it. Oh, but it's one damage per round. She's dead. Hey, nice work. That was actually really good. You come forward. Now, I assume you can use the, the pig spear from a non... Okay, well, that's answered my question. Fucking Christ. That's so damaging. Good God. But So what I was going to say is I assume you can use the pig spear from any position as long as he's not in the first. So the sooner that guy is dead, I guess it gives more of an incentive to kill the other ones besides pig band first. Maybe he should have healed there. What are we doing? Okay, that's not very good, is it? How are we looking on the blade now? Five damage per round. Oh, God. Did we miss it twice in a row? Shit. Oh. They've resisted the stun. Okay, we're fine. Uh, I don't think we need... Oh, nice. Good work. I don't think we need to worry about stress relief quite yet. Although that did the trick anyway. Um, Maybe some heals. No, uh, heal... Hound man for two. Thanks. Really appreciate that one. Heal self. And then you exsanguinate or redeem. I was going to say we could redeem Jester, but we could just exsanguinate him. That way, if he focuses the flagellant, which he kind of is, I guess. It's not too terrible. Nice. Wow, that's two crits in a row. Holy shit. Has he got bonus to that? Finale. 120% damage for seven rounds. We should really get in with that, shouldn't we? Just give that a go because I never use it. I don't know if you can even use it from that position in hindsight. But we'll try it this round. See exactly what it does. Oh, no. Because he's dead this round, isn't he? Okay. Done. 24 bleeding one turn. That's quite nice. Right. Okay. We've got an Arnie statue. Uh, I'm going to throw away. Ooh, it's pretty tricky. Uh, eat up. Give me that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, So we are... Go to this room with the curio. Oh, right. That's the curio that, that cures. Yeah, sorry. That's, that's a curio quite literally. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rooms left. And we've cured six. So we could camp now, seeing as we're roughly halfway through. But I'm happy to push on a little bit further. We haven't found any of the grain yet. So I'm not willing to quite camp yet. Oh, there it is. Speak of the devil. Sacks of uneaten grain. Oh, bollocks. We have to fill up inventory slots with that, don't we? Well, fuck your medicinal herbs. I might throw away the anti-venom as well. We'll see how we get on. Magic box. And we've got another Arnie statue. Very nice. Oh! Did we... No, that was there. No, we didn't. All right, never mind. And in here we have... Nothing. So really, we could camp any time now, and, and, and it would be absolutely fine. But I don't think we're quite there yet. I mean, just removing the stress from the antiquarian, it wouldn't hurt that much. But um, let's head up here, then. Room battle with treasure. Let me investigate a sense of work of spirits. Oh, no. Bloodthirsty. Is that a problem? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay. These ones are fairly easy. Stress is fine. I'm alright fighting enemies that, that, that go for only stress right now, seeing as we're very, very low on the stress run, and we still got to camp. I might camp in the next room just to clear an inventory space, to be honest, which is probably the worst reason to camp, but we might as well do it. God, the flagellant is a weird man. He's clearly into that. And now he's got the fit, so you know what? Sometimes you have to learn when to say no, flagellant. You've only got yourself to blame there. Uh, 8 to 12. If we rush you, we could just kill him dead. Because I didn't think we'd be able to get enough blood in to wipe him out. Good shit. And then kill. Nice. Wow. That's a lot of damage for the flagellant. Just one pig, pig lord left. Now, we could stall it here and get a bit of stress relief in. And to be honest, I might not be against that. Given that uh, the antiquarian is not doing so well. I think even if we focused everybody's 
uh, stress reducing camping ability onto the Antiquar and she's still be a little bit fucky wucky. So let's go, um, nervous stab. Very nervous stab right now. That should increase in damage the more stress she is. And he needs to be in position too. Bollocks. Okay. It's quite annoying. There you go. Good as new. Nothing to worry about. Boris? Kill. Not Boris hard to kill. Boris. Boris hard Remind kill. That overconfidence is a slow I'm sorry. Killer. Yes, Ancestor. Yes, Dad. I get it. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is a perfect place to camp. Look at that. Lovely hotel. It's even worse than that. That's like average going in Blackpool. How are we looking? Three damage per round, three damage per round. Um, well, let's kill you first then. A oh, damn. Pummeling. A decisive pummeling. And then, uh, stab you, I guess. Harry the rest. Try and get some bleed in. Oh, wow. What a guy all the way across the board there. So he's dead. You'll take four damage around. Good dodge. We needed that. We actually really needed that. One damage per round for three rounds. That's pathetic. One damage per round for three rounds as well is pathetic. Nice dodge. And ball and chain. I don't know what that does. Hits him with a ball and chain, but does not move or stun. Oh, that's quite a lethal move. That moves and stuns. Fuck. Uh, let's focus on getting you down. So you're now dead. Uh, what about you? We never stabbed that. Oh, well, that's you dead as well. And now we've just got large piggy to deal with. Holy shit, that'll do. Okay, and then Hound's uh, Harry, right? No, 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 the other one. Whatever the targeted attack is. Ooh. The Hound Master, really, really effective here, though, huh? Combination of bleed and effective versus beast makes him really, really good here. Um, what's it called? Hound's Rush, that's it. There we go. And, uh... Oh, fuck. Well, I suppose we could just do that. Hey, free heals, thank you. Right, let's camp here, then. Fucking hell, more stuff. Uh... Paralyzer's Crest gives the Crusader 20% stun skill. I actually don't have one of those, so I'm going to chuck the Anti-Venom, I think. Give me that. Is there much point opening the Strongbots? Let's camp first and open the Strongbots afterwards, right? A moment of have some snackies. That gives us basically another free inventory slot after the next hunger check. Um, remove disease. He did get the fit, so I was going to say. Uh, it gives him stress. Therapy Dog or Companions gain minus stress and minus stress for four battles. So that's quite good. An affectionate nuzzle should put your hearts right. Oh, what a fucking guy. I like the Houndmaster. Turn back time. Minus 30 stress. Wow. Holy shit, that is good. Um, one companion, 10 accuracy and 8% crit. I'm going to do that on the Houndmaster just because, Harry, if we get a crit across the board on more than one, that's going to be quite damaging, isn't it? Uh, and I think we're done there. Self only minus 50% stress for four battles. Okay. And no ambush? No, nope, we got ambushed. Bollocks. Ugh, dirty bandits. Okay. <laughs> Waking up and you're immediately just being shot at. <laughs> um, I want to move you back as far as possible. These two up front isn't terrible, and the, the dogman being all the way at the back isn't terrible either. There we go. That'll do. Uh, Finale. Ah, can we use that in position too? Let's swap you over. We'll try out Finale during this battle, because I, I need to learn some of these varied skills. I'm very much set on using particular ones that I know work. And I want to experiment with a little bit more. Obviously, this game I don't want to experiment too much in because then you get your ass handed to you by most likely mosquitoes now in this game. One damage per round for two rounds. Resist the bleed. Thank you. Just what I wanted. Uh, right, let's slice that off. I don't know what we've just sliced off. Clearly, it wasn't his arms or his legs or anything on his face, so I dread to think what the fuck that was. Damn, that was a shame. And blanket fire. Oh, that's hefty. Fuck. Uh, maybe I should throw down a couple of torches next time we can. Oh, can't use it during an ambush. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, look, you're taking eight down. Let's finish you, then. Uh, you go for another Harry. Good shit. Two damage per round. Two damage per round. Please fuck off. Leave the Jester alone. Come on. Oh, great. Now we can't even try finale. You fucking bandits. You fucking bandits. Okay, um, that should kill him. Nice, just about, fucking hell. Um, yeah, vengeance. Vengeance, okay, that'll do. Right, now I guess we'll feed the last of the snackies to, um, <laughs> to the poor jester then, seeing as he just had his ass handed to him. All right, good work. Another Arnie statue. Right, here you are. Uh, eat food. You're fine. Actually, you're not, you're not fine, but you'll do for now. What have we got in here? Antiquarian? 
Uh, unlock strong box. It's trapped. Well, nothing happened. Right, I guess we'll head this way, because we still haven't found... No, thank you, sir. What do you do with some grain? Oh, there we are. Do they stack? Because I might have emptied an inventory. No, they don't. Okay, good, good, good. I was worried I might have emptied empty that inventory slot for no reason otherwise. No grain in here. So we've got two rooms left to check. And a couple of pathways you obviously haven't been down. Oh, stop it. Well, that's two diseases we've... He's, is, is that two diseases he alone has picked up during this? Christ. Why don't we walk across here just in case it is here? We know there's a curio. It's just books. Okay, well, it's not a big deal. We want to go down this direction anyway. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not too bothered by that. Right, you open that. And nothing. I'm not going mad and thinking that the antiquarian can occasionally get items from disarming traps, right? Ooh, stackables. And we've got a free inventory slot too. I guess we use this on our uh, final little thing. Ah, uh, that's bandages, right? We can we can actually get that one. Oh, I should have done with Antiquarian, my bad. Or is it just having her in the party that, that gives you the bonuses? I've just been using her kind of preemptively, and it might have been unnecessary in hindsight. Uh, do I want any of this stuff? I could I could chuck the bandages, seeing as we're basically done. That's a thousand gold minimum, because obviously we'll only swap it out if we find better treasure, right? Okay. And now the final couple of corridors, because we've covered everything else. I didn't just walk straight past it. Ooh, that's not ideal. I didn't just walk straight past it like a moron, did I? That does sound like something I might do. And here we have a grand total of uh, fucking nothing. But I hope we don't get any more combat because we are not in the best of ways. Oh, God. We're fine. We're all fine. <laughs> How are you? Nothing. And another battle this way. There's the grain. Hey, we've done it. Yeah. We've got to throw something out. G give us that. Whoa, that was, uh, that was great timing, huh? Holy shit, that could have been a bit... That could have been a bit touch and go. How much food? Oh, look at that. This is why... I love the Antiquarian just for that alone. 20,000. It was only an episode ago we were running on, like, what, 30 gold? We traded a lot for it. Uh, Luminous is fine. Tapeworm is bad. Obviously, Cophobe is... Uh, okay, I'm probably not going to take him to the code too frequently. Anyway, I'm kind of being a bleed character. Dinoro, minus two speed. If the to I, I never let the torch fall that low. Anyway, we've leveled up Nero Nightshade to the extent we could take her into... Honestly, she's the worst character to take into the... Um, obviously, into the big Baron's Bonanza. Whatever the hell it's called. So, Karillan is still not acceptable to send out for another one, huh? Let's flagellate again, then. She can only flagellate. Um, and I believe I even upgraded that, did I not? I, I started upgrading it, but obviously I wasn't able to get far... Um, we could just reduce some of these costs. Let's reduce the cost of the transept. Let's go for a couple on that. And then... Claiming communion with the divine. Um... Madness. Madness. He said the line. He said the line, everyone. <laughs> he said the line. Okay, uh, you go to... Oh, you can also only flagellate. You're kidding me. An anemic? What oh, we'll only drink. Oh, that's way better. That's way better. What a guy. There we are. Oh, hey, you know what? It's not quite as... Is that American Gothic? In Hello? Time, you will know the tragic uh, extent of oh. Feelings. Farmers have banded together in increasing security and effort to protect their healthy livestock and crops upon which the hamlet def depends. Supply cost is down 100%. Provision cost is down 100%. And now we've got a shitload of gold. I don't feel so bad about maybe upgrading some of our characters too. So I was going to say, why don't we leave that there for today? Seeing as today is uh, Christmas, obviously, when you're watching this. And a shorter one, people haven't got time to be watching Darkest Dungeon on Christmas. So that was a fun little Christmas run. I'll maybe mark in the title, you know. Hey, skip this one if you want. It's just a fun little run. Um, just for those of you who, who maybe have that spare 25 minutes or whatever to kill. And then tomorrow we will go back to the Baron's Court and see what damage we can do over there. Thank you all for watching. If you obviously did watch on Christmas Day, a great commitment from you all to give me time on on what only happens once a year uh unless there are those of you of course who don't celebrate christmas at which point i apologize for a regular day of darkest dungeon nothing special about it particularly thank you to ice wolf ice step cows poseidon sea and german hammer siala jet black sheep goat father oliver scans dramir slow king 1710 tramir regent cat other guy 39 corrupt racer and everybody else at executive producer tears over on patreon thank you to you guys for making this episode possible in the first place and a thank you as well to uh, Lonath, Nyankar17, Sam Haruni, Southcath Sith, Sturmkrauer, Smurtworm, Alex Schultz, Moondoggy, KG Evans, and everyone else over at Patreon as well. See you guys all tomorrow for... Maybe we'll go for another attempt at the Baron's Court. Why not?